Since the beginning of my journey with aquaponics, I've always dreamt of building a vertical tower system. There's something just so awesome about having a wall of edible plants and strawberries whilst using very little floor space. I decided to make use of this idea after completing the main system as I could fit in an extra 130 plants in a very narrow space between the north facing side of the shed and the fence bordering the property. The frame is built out of 70 by 35 mm MG10 treated structural pine and painted white with post paint. Its dimensions are 3 meters wide and 1.7 meters tall. It is held in place by three dyna bolts down the bottom and a few screws through the shed wall to the top horizontal beam. The towers and the collection drain are built out of 90mm downwater pipe that I bought on sale from Masters when it was closing down for about 60% off, but I can't remember the price. The towers are 1.5 meters tall as they are cut in half from 3 meter lengths. The drain is made up of 12 T's and one 90 degree angle and spaced 25 centimeters apart from center to center. They are all glued together with PVC pipe glue, fitted to a 90 to 40 millimeter reducer and dog legs around under the deep water culture, behind the filters and back into the sump tank. And of course there needed to be a plumbing change in order to plumb up the vertical tower system as well. There are two tower types that I'm playing with at the moment, which are based off Donald Porter's media-less towers. The first tower I made is the coupler style, which makes use of a pool noodle half around 30 millimeters thick, which holds the crown of the plant and is then pushed in to the heat gun melted holes. The second style is my favorite, as it has the best water retention and easy root clearing ability for long-term planting. Its design is similar to the zip tower with a vertical cut down the length of the pipe. However, I've left five centimeters worth of pipe intact to make a good seal where they connect down to the drain. The slot in the pipe is 25 millimeters wide and cut with my multifunction oscillation tool. The spaces are made out of pool noodle as well. 15 centimeters long and about 35 millimeters wide, which makes six spaces from the cylinder shaped pool noodle. The ends are tapered downwards and always to the center of the pipe. The wedge at the top holds the crown of the plant and is also cut at a downwards sloping angle. The spaces also have a three millimeter deep vertical cut a few millimeters in from the outside surface that helps keep them in place on the pipe slot. Planting out takes a little while, but I think it's less time than planting in a media filled cup. The tops of the towers are held in place by a cuff. They are a 30mm wide cut of 90mm pipe with a 45mm cut out section. The irrigation tube I'm using has an outer diameter of 5mm and the drill bit is 4.8mm which is perfect. I'm able to cut one end of the tube at an angle and just push and twist it into the top bar. So up the top here we have a smaller version of these bits of foam which are just cut out of the pool noodle again and I can see the drip tube straight away. I can check and if this gets clogged I can fix that up and I can easily put the water directly onto where the root bases are going to be. And uh, so yeah, all finished. Well, four of them anyway. So we got some coriander. Let's see how that goes. Some French beans. Some Iron Man spinach. Popeye spinach, sorry. We got some rainbow chard. Some of them looking a little bit unhappy just because of the transplanting and the heat. Today, uh, then we got some snow peas. Going to trellis them up as well, or maybe have to move them around. And then we got some lettuce, some bok choy, uh, a couple more of those silver um, rainbow chards, and again another row of lettuce. Just been eating a lot of lettuce recently. Ooh. 
And over here, we got the strawberries. The strawberries again. I put the bok choy and some of the younger lettuces in here just to compare the two between the vertical tower system and the deep water culture. Also planted some broccoli in here, Got some coriander growing in here. These are volunteer sweet basils. There's another broccoli. This blueberry, it's never done super crash hot. It's always suffering from malnutrition, it seems. Canyon chilies here, they're pretty awesome, pretty hot. Big beef eater tomatoes. They've been a little the way out, but that's all right, we'll cut those bad bits off. I'm gonna be transporting all of these strawberries uh, into the towers. Little cherry tomato in the corner there, it's kind of gone out of control because I didn't really train it properly. Parsley, these are actually lemon trees that I did from seed, but I'm gonna remove them out and put them in pots. Then we got some oregano or oregano, whatever you want to call it. And then, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the update, especially on the vertical tower system. Remember, everybody's aquaponic system is a little bit different, so you know, do your research, just look up on YouTube, get ideas, go on Google. There's so many ideas out there just to fit your space and to fit what you want to do. Uh, it was all my dream to build a vertical tower system ever since I looked into aquaponics, so I made it happen. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.